Hey guys, have you ever wondered how we seafarers travel for six months and what all things we carry? This is that kind of a video where I'll show you what all things I carry for six months at sea and how I pack my things for the travel and some tips and tricks which came from my experience of past years of sailing. And uh, yeah, this is exactly that kind of a video. So if you're first time over here, I'm Sujit and you're watching Malu Marina Vlogs where you get authentic lifestyle videos. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Well, I wanted to make this video while I was at home when I was actually packing the bag but the things got a little messy and I didn't get much time for recording and I'm repacking my bags to whichever order I needed so it will be easier for me to get things in and out if I wanted to. For your better experience, I'll switch the camera to a point of view kind of a, a style so you have a much immersive experience. Uh, so let's do that. Yes, I think this is better. First, I'll tell you why I carry two bags. Then I will show you what all things are there in the bag. I normally carry two check-in bags. So this is one bag and that is the next bag. So basically, you will be allowed to carry normally 15 kg if you are traveling domestic. And if you are traveling on international, it's 30 kg. So for seamen, uh, especially if you are traveling, then you will be allowed to carry 40 kg which means that one bag should be maximum of 20 kg and the next bag should be the rest 20 kg. So no matter what, you are not allowed to carry more than 15 or more than 20 depending on the domestic or international flight you are catching, okay? So that's the reason I am carrying always two bags. Even though my bag doesn't weigh that much, I still carry two bags because I have past experience. So you, either you have to get rid of the things or you have to pay extra for the weight while you're, you're carrying. Let's go and start with this. So basically I like to carry uh, things in a different order. Separate my daily wears and my work wears and my good clothes, you know, like in a separate fashion. Here I have some uh, good clothes for me. I used to carry all these uh, dresses, hoping that I'll get to go ashore. But you know, it's pandemic and it's really, really unfortunate that we cannot go out these days. So that is there. So basically, these are my good shirts and t-shirts. I'm going to uh, cold air re regions most of the time. So I carry this. And for that purpose as well, I'm having a inner wear. Uh, this is a thermal cloth. Okay, that's there. And have my shorts. This is one thing which I normally carry whenever I go to uh, any ship. Towel because they do provide us towel when we reach on, on board but you know sometimes it's much uh, better to have used your own personal towel so I prefer that. This is one thing which I took this time because it's a bed sheet to have a comfortable sleep so I like to take my own bed sheet so that's what I have taken a one bed sheet. It's a JBL Bluetooth, Bluetooth speaker and uh, here are some masks as you know it's COVID and I have so, a couple of books which I'm preparing for my future exams so I have a couple of books in there I being a marine engineer I used to carry all my tools with me all the time oh, this is Malayalam I am a Malayali okay I am a Malayali I am a Malayali I have people from around the world including my colleagues so that's the reason I am not putting any videos in Malayalam anymore but maybe in the future I am a Malayali video Okay, that's there. Adjustable wrench, which I love. Just to avoid, you know, some rust and oil in a plastic bag. And this is my favorite watch. This I carry whenever I go for work. I had the strap, which I, you know, unfortunately broken, but I still use this. I bought it from um, USA like a few years back and it's still good. So I'm not changing it. I like it. It's my watch for work charger for my rechargeable batteries so and this is a one good thing you should all buy this is something called a gel heel cup this you can put inside your safety shoes this basically gives you cushioning at your heel uh, you won't be having any kind of a pain because of the longer wear uh, hours of wearing safety shoe or any kind of shoe of that matter so you can get it from i think the bata showroom for uh, around 700 bucks so yeah i normally carry this as well this you might have already seen in my last video is a small massager which i got from decathlon which will come very handy because of the nature of work we do and this is one of my favorite perfume called uh, dark obsession from calvin klein and i like this this is my camera cleaning kit since i do a lot of photography and video as well so i like to keep my gears nice and tidy and this is some tall trees strap for my camera okay this is my hard disks and my usb so everything goes in there so this is my extra strap from my apple watch so i keep in there as well 
so let keep everything organized and uh, kind of easy for me to uh, pack and unpack whenever i wanted to and this will be my dress so i'm going to wear today while i travel putting back into the bag after laundry okay so this is my second bag i like to keep different things in different bags as you can see so basically this bag contain clothes which are quick dry i'll use for maybe for a workout or the engine room when it's too hot you know it's really difficult to wear only boiler suit so we wear this inside the boiler suit to be much comfortable it's my tripod for my camera one pair of sunglasses I have a personal hygiene so i have my earbuds socks so always keep one socks inside the other so it's much easier i won't lose it i just randomly place it anywhere so this will go into this as well this is my gopro mount 545 toothbrush uh, paste you know you are going for 6 months uh, on and more so it will be difficult for you to get i have small uh, scissor and a pen folder for my documents since it's a huge file i'm not able to keep this inside my that bag i take every certificate from this and like i keep it with my backpack so it's there with me all the time so one thing you should always be keeping in mind is that if you're traveling do not keep your documents in the check in bag do not ever keep your documents in check in bag i always keep my documents inside uh, my backpack these are all my documents is all there was so once i reach the ship everything is uh, okay then i'll transfer it to the file and give it to the captain so that's how it is so this normally i keep this uh, in here but since i have plenty of things on my backpack i don't want to you know make the backpack more heavy so this bit heavy the file is bit heavy so that's the reason i am keeping the file only in here then i have this uh, small box calculator i have a two personal eye gear this for you know protection of your eye because you are working in harsh environments and this is my personal flashlight this is a mag light i bought from america and it's a good one it's a double a battery so you can charge this recharge it and you can use it a couple of other flashlights too and i have a headlamp that's that and i have my favorite classic watch This is a Tissot watch which I love. Bought from Europe and some couple of bad. And this is my name tag uh, for my rank. If you don't know, I'm a third engineer, so the third engineer tag is there. You can put it, stick it in the boiler suit if you want. I normally don't do that. And I keep this cable tie, which is you know sometimes come handy. So that's the box. So this bag, I carry a lot of things like my workwear, my shorts. and i do have some cream some soap uh toothpaste so these are my personal care things you know okay so i keep that in separate bag so it'll be much easier for me to get things out other than that a few other things in this one i think it's important this is a pain relief spray you will be much needed especially when you are going uh, after a long time and some deodorant some sanitizer and extra paste and some shampoo and some ax oil for the pain relief and those goes in here and i also have some other toy trays in here this is my perfume my wife gifted it to me it's your men from jordina valente from germany all right and i have my shaving set and my after shave lotion and being a malayali the most nostalgic thing coconut oil <laughs> don't get me wrong i normally don't use coconut oil but you know sometimes it's good to have something from home so either the nostalgia എല്ലാ മലയാളികൾക്കും അറിയാം വെളിച്ചിനടെ ഗുണം ഓക്കെ റൈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഐ ഷോൺ യു മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ തിങ്സ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ബാഗ് ആസ് വെൽ ഐ യൂസ് ടു ക്യാരി ലോഡ് ഓഫ് ഷൂസ് വെൻ ഐ ഗോ ഓൺ ബോർഡ് അർലിയർ ബട്ട് ദിസ് ടൈം ഐ തോട്ട് ഓഫ് കട്ടിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഡൗൺ സോ ഐ ഹാവ് മൈ നോർമൽ കാഷ്വൽ ഷൂസ് വിച്ച് ആർ ബി വെയറിങ് ടുഡേ ദൻ ഐ ഹാവ് മൈ ദിസ് ഐ നോർമലി വെയർ ഇൻ സൈ ദ ഷിപ്പ് ഇൻ ദ 
gonna go for lunch meal times and that and this as well i have one more over there and this i wear for my workouts or gym or any exercise kind of things so that's that that's one important thing that you should keep in mind you should always keep all the shoes kind of a plastic bag wrap it around and put it inside wrap it around keep it like this inside my check-in bag two of those i've shown you almost all the things which i had and these are the things which will be going uh, into this bag so this is basically my backpack in this backpack i will carry my laptop and my documents and my camera and important electronics and charger of course so this is my watch i will i will have to transfer these into a small bag which i have so i have this small pouch in which i carry all my charges so if you do this it will be much easier when you go do security check in because they will ask you to take everything out from the bag so if you are keeping it you know separate it will be much easier and faster for you for you to take things and finish the security check at the airport yeah so that's one thing you should keep and will might come in handy as well so this have all my wires chargers everything then i have a small tripod for my phone if i ever wanted to take some videos or photos battery for my gopro power bank so i keep it charged before i travel so i can charge it my phone or any other devices on the go so that's one thing i always keep with me and you're not allowed to put any of these batteries in the check-in bag so please keep that in mind and have my pair of headphones these are pair of headphones for marshall you know there are plenty times people lose luggages so if you have any older tags or stickers from your previous travel so please remove it from your baggage so it won't get lost next time when you travel personally i haven't experienced that but i've I've seen colleagues experiencing those which is a very very bad situation you don't have anything once you reach ship and you don't have anything to change you know that's embarrassing so I always keep one t-shirt one under clothes and maybe one pant or shorts inside my uh, small bag I put my passport and small items in this and my camera will go inside and this is one of my favorite thing the Rubik's cube you know to kill some time is I have some sanitizers and extra headphone okay this thing okay this thing keep it inside the chicken bag lucky that is all that now okay other than that i have extra mask which i will keep it please keep in mind that if you're having any visa on your older passport so keep that also along with you comments which i have i think that's pretty much it i hope you find this useful i hope uh, you enjoy the video let me take this out first then i'll talk to you that was really hectic <laughs> i hope you like the video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already and if you have any comments suggestion or thoughts or if you want to see anything more like this or similar please let me know in the comment section below i will try to make a video whenever i get time and that's it for today guys thanks for watching as always see you guys on the next one peace